He's going to be ready and prepared to go up against Momodog. On Dragon's Nest, it's actually a pretty good save for Momodog because it's like the same space. Here. It's got like the same uh, walls. Yeah, yeah as, a, as a the Mishima building. So he might get the same combos here. Also, Kumpa is like the stage as well. So, you know, we've got even playing for technically. Nice low parry from Momodog. And that's a good way to start off a grand finals. A nice low parry to show that he's ready to fight his, his absolute best, even though he's coming from losers and he has a long way to go to beat Super Akuma. Oh, Super Akuma with Rage, but no HP. One mistake will do him in in this first round and a two, two, two to take the first round. Very, very efficient and higher. Oh, nice. nice. Punish there with a down forward to Mumbadog coming out. Guns blazing right now. Oh, man. Oh, man. Nice. He went for like a basic uh, not to set up again. I don't really know why it's he does not, it. It's not worked today, and it's definitely not worked against Super Akuma. Yeah, I feel like that's like the first thing people, um, you know. Uh, a fall for when they fight Noctis. So most players that? are gonna be ready. Oh wow. my goodness, wow. Momodog with the conversion to the wall and the combo? Okay, well we might be in for a long one. Dude, whenever Momodog's playing, I can't really talk about anything else except for what's happening on screen because every single combo could kill. On one side we have Super Akuma with massive damage and a very well placed wall bounce. And on the other side we have Momodog with amazing Optimization, so anything can happen. Oh, I'll forward for what? Because an anti air, very nice. Oh, drop the jab though. When, when it's to be too optimal, nice use of the focus right now. Like I said, when he's playing as you know, he was almost shackled, could not use his focus that much more. But now he's been let free as he gets over down forward two. Down back one, very nice. The meme is just backdash, the truth is just sidestep or sidewalk Momodog. Showing exactly how to deal with the demon split. That's plus in sidestepping though. Really proving to be true. That's dead. Oh! Uh -oh. Oh! 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 That was the fastest curse you've ever placed, Kobe. I think it's like the moment you said it, it like it, you spoke into existence literally. The, the exact same second. That's oh, so pretty spot on. It's impressive in a way. A, a, express curse right here. You know, if you need a <laughs> if you need an express commentator's curse for your tournament, hire. Hold on, where this guy? There, this guy. He got delivery. It. Yeah, dude. I'm like, just sorry. hit him up on Twitter. Hit him. I'm sure your DMs are open, K. Was hit him up on sorry. Twitter. Ask for like a, for sorry. like a voice <laughs> memo uh, of any curse. I'm sorry. He got you. I think as, punish, as, pun, as punishment, you should tell us about your your PSN name. Well, uh, Matt Reno's not, so... <laughs> um, but yeah, that was... The thing is, he was dead, if it connected. Uh, but it did not, so... I mean, I don't know, like... If, I mean, we're super good, like, he will get this simple from time to time, like, and then we call those hitbox slappers. You know, when he, when he messes up like that, he probably slapped his hitbox a few times, so that was, that was probably a hitbox slapper right there. Um... <laughs> It's better he makes those mistakes now than later on when things are really on the line. So, yeah. Um, I think that was great patience as well from Momodog and knowledge of Super Akuma. Because when you get in those situations against him, and he has that kind of like, uh, uh, like he has a big mistake, you know? Um, he's very prone to like doing a DP, doing an EXDP, because he's expecting to try and capitalize on it. So, Momodog just being that extra second, uh, having that extra second of patience. Uh, really helped him out there. So we go into the second game and it's going to be on Howard Estate. And we are going to see a lot of this stage as well as Mission Building. So strap in. Oh man. <laughs> I mean, depending on uh, depending on what Momodog does, we could see like, I, th I think something like four times each of each stage, you know, four, four Mission Buildings, four Howard Estates. Let's see. For now, Momodog, not looking that's too not, bad. That sounds like my shopping list. Four <laughs> <laughs> buildings, four hard estates, a little bit of jungle outpost two, and none of jungle outpost one. Shit, stage man. Either way. <laughs> oh, the evil Ooh. man gets the wall. Still has a screw. Ah, <gasps> uh, I think combo. I think he was trying to do it. I think he was trying to break through the walls there. That's why we went for the simple combo. But either way. 
Another well, well, run. Fight. Yep, another run from the right now. Ooh, the force oh. attack. Oh, Ooh. careful. Under and over. Oh. Uh, Momo Dog sidestepping right now has been on the next on the next level. He's really dealing with that demon clip so well. Version again. Oh, Dude. oh, that was. Did you see that? That literally just the tiniest bit. The tiniest bit just came out to, to help him there. Okay, nice in the oh, back. No. Wait, what? A little bit too far away. Oh, oh he still is... gets a couple. Of is super can get the reverse sweep on how to stay? Because if so, then we actually need to ban stage picking because the reverse <laughs> sweeps on their stage of choice is just, is just getting crazy. Oh, oh press off my oh. Uh oh, nice block. Yeah, that's there. Super Kuma will not get no round brown on how to stay. What? Oh, no, the second hit. Just lets the second piston rock. It should go to the wall. Can't break it there. There's a reason they're twins. Oh. Yes, bar. Yes, oh, bar. Tactics. New tactics. New tactics. Oh. oh, the trade works out for Mono with the 1 1 for Super Akuma. Final round. Second game. Please do not let him get a reverse sweep on how to stay. Nice to the face is a good step one. Now you need step two through 64 to beat Super Akuma. Moma Dog looking sharp right now for a bar of meter and almost two. There it is. Oh, that could have been dead. Oh, anything could be dead right now. One it's mistake from Moma Dog will what cost step? him. But a beautiful step and a beautiful launch with a nice flourishing finish will give him that second game 2-0 right now against Super Akuma. One more. And we would have a 3-0 reset, which would, which would be an uh, absolute upset, honestly. Getting that's... around the down three like that was absolutely amazing there for Momo Dog. You know, that's something that that's really that a lot of people struggle with, especially against Akuma, especially against Super Akuma. And, you know, getting around it and the perfect whiff punishment is something I think is can't be stayed enough right now. Because when you uh, create an opening like that, it's really up to you to sort of capitalize on it and make your opponent pay for it. And then make them second guess certain things. You know, so I think Momodog's doing a great job, uh, especially in this matchup. Because I think this matchup is is kind of was kind of overplayed when I think Kane first hit like Noctis against Kai for anyone. Um because he's using two two to anti and doing some great things, but it's a very I think it's honestly I think the matchup's quite in Akuma's favor. You know, I think I think Noctis is very committal in his approach. For example, forward for one plus two, running one plus two, and that's very easy to get focus attack. Mm -hmm. Very easy. And then for example, two two. Which is mentioned, as you know, the uh, anti -air. the the main thing that people point out is, you know, two two. Those first hits are minus nine, and it leaves you close. Uh, that's not what we want to be against Akuma. Minus nine in his face, and if he wants to do two two forward two. That's minus fourteen, and that's a launch for Akuma. And he wants to do two 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 into into the highs. Those are highs. Akuma can do down two, and he wants to finish the two 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 two. That's minus fourteen again. Akuma can launch. I feel like there's. I know, I feel like that's why I'm really impressed with what Momodok is doing right now, because he's playing around all of this, and he's having a dominant showing against Super Goom right now, and on the verge of resetting the bracket, and Elon getting our night by at least like 15 minutes. Yeah, make it, making me uh, commentate well past 1am, but that's alright, I'm here for it, as long as there's good tech on the screen. Momodog's best chance of taking this grand finals, I'm saying it right now, is getting a 3-0 reset. Yeah. Like, even if it's a 3-1 reset or a 3-2 reset, I feel like that will take away too much of, of his stamina. Um, so the best thing is get the reset out the way and have a clean set against Super Akuma. I think 14 frame punished there, but there's a power push against Super Akuma. I mean, like I say, I agree with you there, Brownie, you know. I feel like getting that clean through your own starting the next set is just very, very important. Yeah. Oh, yeah, nice. They got it. to the face. This should go to the wall. Emo man. Oh, Spring Kick gets him out of there. He has a bar and a half. He might spend it here. He might save it for the next round. Counter hit. Mm -hmm. This should go to the wall as well. I mean, they're building up almost at two now. 
Oh, Spricky gets Momodo got it at this time! The e, uh, the regular DP, not EAX, not punished. He was a little too far away. Wow. Uh-oh. Wait, did he have just rage on it? Okay. That was, that, that was scary to me. I didn't know if that would kill. But this round is so important for Momodo and for Super Kuma. Again, the movement is so good right now. And he's punishing these moves, which actually have really good recovery. So he's so on point right now. Yeah, the thing is, just moving around your opponent, anyone can do that, but recognizing a whiff and reacting with the right move, that's Punish. the reason why we're so impressed by Momodog's balls right now to finish <laughs> the emo man. Look at this man. Wait, wait, wait what? Yes, we're I so said impressed it. by Momodog's balls, apparently. Dude, adore them. Right now, Momodog is fighting. Can we, for can we get a clip on that one? <laughs> How old is Momodog again? Does anyone know? <laughs> I actually know he's you know he's like 19 or whatever. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Office anyway, the man. <laughs> Either way, open up. Super Room has the lead right now. Ooh, oh, nice oh. the counter hit. Oh, nice. I'm breaking the walls. Let's go. Oh, oh okay. Oh, he gets just a second. Come on. He's so but he still got a second in, and he still gets sword. The balloon. Great sword, giving us a final Central round. That point. I don't believe this combo. Oh! Oh! I'm almost I'm not ready in another one. one. Do it again. He did oh, it. No. Much punishable low. That oh, counts. No, that's a hitbox slapper. That hitbox is getting slapped so hard right now. Okay, He's the using that no. hitbox. No more bar available. He has to build it before he can use it, but he has no HP left. He's got it. He's got rage. There oh. he is. There is Superman was so ready for that, but he's not going to get the wall. He's going to keep the meter and he's going to keep his rage. So I said two. Mordog has, has to get one right read. He has to get in there one more time. And he oh, gets it. Mordog with the three. Oh, reset. I don't believe that. Honestly, I can't remember the last time Superman has been on the winner's side of a bracket and had a three he's been reset before but a 3-0 reset like that on his that was primarily on his stage on howard estate there was no mishmi building today that was all on the howard estate momo dog is looking like a beast right now and for super kuma like you're i, I think super kuma is getting tilted right now as well you know you saw that one round he won the power crash he was spamming the power crash over and over again all those lows you know the emo man the down back two that is got to get in your head and piss you off and Supergum is known as quite the emotional player. Like, he has the biggest pop-ups, and when he loses, he has the biggest reactions as well. You know, we saw him fly at CEO. You know? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. We are, we, we're we going all the way with this one. We have a reset bracket. And like you said, this is Momodog's best chance of winning the tournament because he has all the momentum on his side. Supergum is getting pissed off. And this is where mistakes happen. And we've seen how Momodog is capitalizing on all mistakes right now. I feel like he is he has crafted the perfect scenario for him to win right now. So hopefully he finishes the job. You know, three more games potentially. Let's see what he's got. Yeah, I have a feeling this this um, grand finals reset is going to be way more back and forth because Super Kuma has had a lot of time now to adjust of course you know he's an emotional player there there might be some tilt involved he might make mistakes but i doubt that he's gonna get 3 0 again so i mm -hmm. feel like this is gonna be a little bit of a longer set a little bit more drawn out momodog has to prove himself one more time or on the flip side well, super akuma has to try to defend his uh title as you know this grand finals beast but in any case we've got the grand finals reset coming through both players you know the reset didn't take that much time still with a lot of stamina left remember nice block and punish There'll be no one near enough to kill, not even against... Oh, drops the combos, oh, so unfortunate for the Brokuma here. Could have used the wall situation. Ooh, flow, nice. no Bobo combo. Finish. Yeah, there's one, two, so you can't get the combo. Thinking, <laughs> nice block and punish from Super Kuma, but the wrong demon flip. The raise drive punish! All right, tilt is in full effect right now. That was a hitbox slapper. Yeah, yeah. I mean, after after all that happened in the first set, and now the start to the second set, Super Akuma has to reset mentally if he wants to have a chance 
to win against Molotov. You can't play with all this tilt. Oh, that's the most Beating that 4-4. Big Harry, he can break the wall as well. Oh, no way this kills. Yeah, it does. This will yeah, it kill. Does. Yeah, it does. No need to watch a Sage M video for this one. It will kill a Momodog two rounds up after the reset. And breaks the floor with the Emo Man. Okay. Oh, drops the combo. Oh, the twos. The high down hits of the two string connect. That was interesting. Nice use of down two, but guess the demon for straight away probably not what he wanted, I don't think. And a miss, miss whip punch attempt and a spend of the meetup. He should have another bar very soon. Nice. I like oh. Super is now doing homing options from Demon Flip. He is tired of getting stepped by Moment Dog. Yeah, yeah. Fight. I really like that adaptation that shows that he's still, you know, in this set mentally. He's not just trying to brute force his way uh, into, nice. ooh, into Momodog's defense. Instead finding ways around it. Nice, the 1 plus 2 lets it rip. Spring kick connect. I don't know what you do. Oh my goodness. Oh. Just letting the 1, one two, 2 rip. Four games straight. That's four. One, two, three, four. Dude, That's the that highest was, I can count. That was doing the 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 double daggers. He he did that so often against Super Kuma, and I questioned it every time. The double dagger into the parry, right? The like scrub knocked the set up, and Super Kuma never fell for it. Instead, he he did something slow, or he started his own offense, or he moved around. Momodog. I feel like he kind of capitalized on conditioning there. He knew that Super Akuma wasn't going to challenge him immediately, so he's pretty safe to press buttons himself, and just going for a jab string seems fine, right? Like, there's no big risk attached to it. And it worked. I think this is... I think this next game is the most important game. Mm -hmm. I think. Um, because... If Momoda wins this, not only has he won five games, but he'll be up to a one game away from winning the entire tournament. From the person who put him down in loser's bracket. And though the, the difference between these two games is the games before were close. When Momoda and Superman played on the winner's side, the games were close. It's going back and forth. We're getting the stage switches. Momoda has not lost yet, which is surprising when you look at how well Superman played to get to this point. Mm -hmm. So my, my question here... Is what does Super Akuma do to turn the tides? I feel like maybe a stage, just to get a little mentality switch. But we just had Cave and Light, and that was a different stage. Does he go straight back to Howard Estate? He, yes, does. he does. Yep. I mean, I like it. It it makes a lot of sense. Just, not not just because he likes the stage, um, but it's it's an amazing stage for Akuma, right? Like, so it makes sense mechanically. It makes sense because he feels at home. He practices his shit on this stage. I'm sure. Um, so, yeah, Super Akuma going for a comfort pick. Let's see if it works. Momodok beat him twice pre-reset on oh, Howard no. Estate by doing things like that, man. I can't even talk anymore. Nice block by Super Akuma. Still plenty of time to go, but Super Akuma could still make this comeback. Oh, it's not discount as uh, X Factor. Oh, the spring kick to get out of the pressure, mm. but the emo man was a little bit too, too ballsy. So stop talking about balls. Super cool, we're around on the board. Yeah, also speaking specifically about Momo that pulls a lot. <laughs> Dude, it's better than you talking about Super Akuma's baby killing habit. <laughs> <laughs> we forgot about that. Okay. <laughs> oh, what a block! <laughs> All the way to the wall, still has a... Oh, didn't oh, have a screw, though. Oh, yeah, weird. the screw. Oh, the last hit probably, yeah, screwed it up, <laughs> get it, I'm pun life now. Anyway, Super Akuma started Very out of it. rage. <laughs> oh, ah, the nice. Cat. The cat, he needed to tech, but I think if you tech that, she still would have hit, so. Yeah, I think the only option that would stay down. Nice. nice. That's a classic knock, just do the double one plus two in the sidewalk, because they're going to try and do something, because they can't get a full punish on it. Oh, one, one Super can't hit. Two bars. We're getting far, far away from this breakable wall. Mm -hmm, All the way back to the original stage. Oh, oh and again! Goodness. 
Dude, he no, doesn't care that we got far away. He doesn't care that we got far away. Momodog will still take you oh. to the wall and break it. Goodness. Indeed. Just to channel a little bit of Negan. Oh, oh, no. He doesn't down see it. He's locked and loaded, man. Super Kuma doesn't see it. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes it's something that's so obvious for spectators, but impossible to see as a player. What a low parry! Momodog did the same thing three or Going four times. Aren't we? Yes, we are. Dude, look at the okay, potential awesome. gets another wall. One more hit. Just one more hit. Super Kuma's got. Oh, that won't be using that meter. Momodog, one game away from taking his grand final reset set. This might be over. Dude, this dude. this this might be over. This might be the best I've seen Momodog play. This might be over. With well, what what do we have left? Uh, five games straight. He's reset the bracket. Uh, they had a close. That's the crazy thing is the fact their game winner side was so close. And now you've gone to this new set here, moment of attacking from the loser's bracket. And don't get me wrong, some of these games are still close. You know I mean, it's not exactly like Momodog's getting three rounds straight every single time, but the fact that he's still getting all of these games is like against a character like Akuma. Like I feel like Akuma is the kind of character where like eventually he has to get a game because you can't block every unstable low launcher. You know what I mean? Like eventually he has to get a game. He has to get something on the board. But the fact that Momodog is shutting him down so much is... I don't know, I don't think we've seen we've seen shutdown like this against it's, Super Kuma of all players. It's all movement. It's all movement. That's the way he's shutting him down. Super Kuma is trying to adapt by using the homing uh, kick out of the Demon Flip, but it's not enough. It's I'm, not enough. Momodog's movement and timing, that's the key part of it. You can't just move randomly. His movement and timing is just perfectly honed in on Super Akuma's uh, playstyle right now. You, you get what I'm saying? Like, Super Akuma has to break out of his habits a little bit more than just, I'm gonna do a homing move now, right? It's, and, it goes deeper. And the uh, sort of comeback to that as well, when you keep in mind, is like, okay, if he wants to keep Momodok in check and stop him stepping, down four is one of the best options for that. But Momodok has blocked that so much and launched him for it that, like... You know, you're even going to be de-incentivized to use that and Super Kuma tries to do something different. It's a stage pick. He's gone for Suk. Yeah. I mean, I, I understand the pick, you know. I respect it. It puts Momodog in a very difficult position very frequently, which is at the wall um, or the wall to your side or any interaction with the wall which means he won't get to move as freely and we see that in action super kuma pushed him all the way over there and bullied bullied him until he took the round i like the pick restrict his movement because that's exactly what momodok has been using you know to get one over you under and oh, over again moves we, with him. <laughs> we've seen that so often today um, but there, as we spoke about earlier, Nox is very committed with his approach. And Super Kuma, close to taking this round. A nice dark on the downfall port is Rage Drive spent. So spent. Only plus two, you don't have to respect it that much. Ooh. I'm not going to say anything. Oh man, Super Rush Kuma has two up. bars, he could... Okay, okay. 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 Before there you are, uh, I felt like I had a cast coming on and I didn't want to say anything. Warp strike. Oh, out the air, but yeah. no combo. Oh! Nice. Nice. Nice 2-2 two, two, though. Great reaction there from Momodog. If you're going to do the home move, I'm just going to float you straight up. Oh, nice. Yeah, Super Akuma. He's... Oh, oh what a block! Both bars spent there, but it doesn't matter. There's another down three. And yeah, Super fair. Kuma finally, after five games, is going to get on the board. Holy moly. That was that uh, was crazy. I think I think the demon has woke up. I think yeah, this I think, is a scary bit now, right? The see, thing is, the thing is, yes, he got a game on the board. Yes, the suit pick worked out, but now Momodog can take it to Mishima building. Uh, Super Where Kuma he does not has a hundred percent win rate, apparently. 
Yeah, like Super Akuma does not have any more, I mean, obviously character switches or stage switches or selects left. Like he has to um, beat Momodog in his home stage at least, uh, no, not, not at least once, I'm sorry, two more times, right? Two so times. Momodog, yeah, Momodog is in the best position to take this grand finals. Mishima building is a wall stage. It does have like the effect of restricting movement a little bit, but it's bigger. And the most important thing is Momodog feels comfortable on it. Cause Sook, he didn't look comfortable at all, right? Like the, mm -hmm. the uh, intended effect definitely was visible. The thing that Super Kuma wanted to, to achieve, which is restrict his movement. Mm -hmm. That was definitely visible. Yeah, so. I mean that was that was a life a lifeline was just thrown. I feel like he should have switched stage sooner to be honest, because uh, how the state was working it against him, you know, um, and having a small stage like Sook, no gimmick on it besides you know besides I guess would be the gimmick of the stage, um, you know, Super Kuma just let you know the the character shine, you know, backing you up to the wall. Like we saw that he he wasted two bars of meat on the down threes, both times were blocked. But then all that did was push Momo Dogs back to the wall. We had to then take another down three and it was clean hit. So now we have the mission building. Momo Dog has been unstoppable on this stage. Can Super can be the first one to put a dent in that perfect record? Or is Momo Dog going to win the tournament right here, right now? Let's see. It is still 2 1. Momo Dog is in the lead. Ooh, a nice warp strike. Massive life lead, Super Kuma does not have bars for oh. Miracle Comeback, oh. but he does have this level 1 focus attack to your face. That was very... That was unnecessary for Momo Dog. There was no need to finish it. The Ukemi! Oh, no. Why did he do that? Why did he do that? Round two. It was looking so good, but Momo Dog threw it away a little bit towards the end there, giving Super Kuma the first round, but it's... You know, everything is still... Oh! Oh, no launch! The punishment is still okay, even though he's missing, missing, missing these launches. Super Kuma does not have bar yet, but once again, the level 2 slap. Pretty sure it's level 2. will give him a full combo and a bar. Doesn't get the round, though. Not yet, at least. Oh, shit. Okay. We have another chance to see a Momodog reverse sweep on Mishima building. Or is Super Kuma about to finally wake up? And show Momo Dog who is. I just think it's like the big dog. Uh, I can't be bothered for that. <laughs> oh, nice again. Momo Dog committing way too much there on his approach. It isn't going to be dead. It's, it's going to be, be awkward as all hell. The greats are thrown out. What a duck. Super Akuma ties it up. That's 2 2. And now, who's, who said very it was quick over? fashion. Who said it was over? Who was that guy who said it was over? I think I'm looking at him. Oh, I can't honestly, look at the screen, so I don't know if the angle is right, but I think I'm looking on, at him. This comeback really makes me think that maybe the course of action, that confidence on Momodog, maybe he was barking up the wrong tree. Maybe he could have, you know, kept it a little bit simpler, especially that, um, especially in that last game, there were some instances that were a little bit weird, some weird decision making, but I hope he makes it back. I really want him to win. Yeah, Momodog, I mean, he's he's in trouble now, kind of. He still only needs one more game, but so does Super Akuma, and Super Akuma just got two in a row, so the reason I say he's in trouble isn't just because Super Akuma is on set point, um, or just because it's a final game, it's because the momentum has shifted mm -hmm. very heavily in favor of Super Akuma. That was six rounds straight, if I'm not mistaken. And three of those were on uh, Mishima building, so that's no going to be chance. awkward. No chance for a classic reverse sweep, you know, on Mishima building. Um, that, that might be the first time we have seen Momodog lose on Mishima building today. Yeah. And with this, this is the final game. Um, I think if Momodog loses now, he would definitely be kicking himself. It was This was his game to lose. He was up five games. You know, reset the bracket, the confidence, everything was on his side. And what stages to go for? He keeps with the mission building. He does not lose faith in the stage. And let's go. This is it. The final, final ICFC Autumn Season Week 7 2022.
Momo Dog Super Akuma. Akuma versus Noctis, the final game, the final frontier, the final destination, the final fantasy. Here we go. Alright. Uh, back and forth. Momo Dog taking a solid lead now, though. Definitely a good start. A tall order ahead of him. Mm -hmm. Ooh, under and over. Oh, oh no. nice. The demon for chop pack is Momo Dog ducking. They should go to the wall. Oh. Slice the leg. Ooh. Tries to go for the launcher, doesn't work out, but it's safe. It's all good. Mm -hmm. Oh, Momo Dog now with rage. What's he gonna do with it? Probably gonna throw rage. out the sword. Oh, what a block oh. on the Hemo. That has been the main difference between Supercoon when he was winning and losing was just he is ducking so much more now and he's just getting this perfect time on it. Knew that Emo was coming. Great duck. Gets the first round on the board and the final game between these two is all tied up 2-2 two -two after the bracket reset. Also, I mean, I don't know if it's intentional or not, but I kind of like the fact that we don't have an overlay. You know what you're watching. You didn't just tune in at 1 a.m. You know exactly who these people are and exactly what the stakes are. One bar from Super Rate. Moment of does have the life lead. One, two. Down to what block and the punish. Super Akuma, you give him an inch. Let's see what he does with oh, the no, 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 no. Oh no. Super Akuma now with eight rounds straight, looking to make it nine. Momodog, his last chance to stay alive, his last chance to stay in this grand final and not, not let Super Akuma take it after all. Momodog, what do you do right now? The 2-2-4-2, two, 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 okay. All right, Super Emo Man to finish. He gives him rage. He has rage on a bar. This is very dangerous. Momodog, finish oh, your food. Mr. Just frame. That was the first just frame he missed today as well. One touch and he's dead. Look at the meter. Look at the rate. One touch and Momodog is Ooh. dead. Oh. There's oh, no, no way. Hold There's my breath. No, no, no please. No. no. He's, he's still alive. alive. He's One alive. more chance. No. Oh. Oh, super. And just like that. Akuma. Super Akuma. He took takes... the set the entire mile, right? The, all the way from losing five games in a row. Brought it back. Swept it all the way back, and uh, I, I no, have I've, no words. I've got to say, Super Akuma went from losing five games straight, okay, games, to winning 